Kanban made its way from manufacturing plants to knowledge work management in the early 2000s and has since been strongly associated with the software development process. We've covered the Kanban tools used in software development scenario before. This time, we'd like to show you a Kanban tool board specifically used for software bug tracking. After a few workflow iterations, this particular team has settled on a process built like this. A backlog, an open issues stage, a set of in-progress columns, the testing stages, followed by integration, then the deployment phase, and finally closed. The active work stages are split into sub-columns to separate the tasks waiting for someone's attention from those on which the team has already started working. The team also devised two rows for their tasks, one for regular items and one for items of critical importance. Of course, the idea is that when a critical bug is identified and placed in the top row, it needs addressing immediately with the regular flow of tasks put on hold. The information given on the task cards is an ID or a different form of title, a description with steps to replicate the problem, sometimes a checklist with extra instructions, image, video or other attachments, a link to the code repository pull request, information on where the bug report came from, and tags. Most of the time, when a team member picks up a task from the backlog, they assign it to themselves. But tasks may also be added already with assignments to the person deemed best to deal with a specific problem. Due dates are rare in this process, but on occasion, in the more advanced stages of processing, a due date is added if, for example, a given bug fix can only be deployed during a limited time window. All bug report cards get the same color initially. However, when the working time on a single bug exceeds 10 hours, the card automatically changes color to blue. The supervisor can then investigate why a specific task takes this long and see if something could be done to speed up the process. And even though very often nothing can be done, such automation provides a simple way to keep tabs on the team's efficiency and to offer the developers help where needed. On top of this, all work on the board is timed with Kanban tool time tracking. The timer automatically starts when a task is moved to a working column and stops when the task shifts to done or paused. This way, a record of hours spent on each item literally prepares itself on the team's behalf. While the team moves tasks along the board, other performance metrics also gather. The lead and cycle time tells them how long, on average, task cards take to move between given stages and the cumulative flow graph lets them judge at a glance if they are keeping a steady work pace from one week to the next or if progress is stalling. Now, the card tags enable correlating tasks that deal with similar issues or portions of the code. It's convenient for building a complete set of information on where the product the team is working on is the weakest and finding potential spots for pivotal improvements. In terms of staying open to bug reports from both inside the company and clients, the team has used the Bug Reports Board's unique email address to allow external collaborators to report on identified problems. Emailing this address creates a task on the board, dramatically simplifying and speeding up the process. As you can see, thanks to this straightforward approach, everyone knows what needs doing and in what order, Kanban stays true to the first in, first out rule. The topmost task in the column is to be addressed first. And when clarification is required, each task card has a dedicated comments section, ideal for direct communication and file sharing about the specific problem described in the task. With all of that, the team's difficult job of problem fixing becomes more structured and less chaotic. If you too would like to bring a bit more order to your team's work organization, please set up a free trial of the service on kanbantool.com.